Welcome back for part two. We are going to be taking our motives that we made last week and we're going to start squaring them off with these beautiful floral corners to start and then make them into squares. Starting in with round 16, we're going to use color E. We want to find where we anchored that picot of round 13 and just follow that up and in that stitch that is in line with that anchored picot, we will join color E with a standing double crochet. Chain one, double crochet in the same stitch five times. So that's once, chain one, double crochet, twice. Three, four, and five, chain one, double crochet in the same stitch. We're going to chain two and then we want to skip the next three stitches and starting in the next stitch we will single crochet in 26 stitches. One, two. Twenty five and twenty six single crochet. Chain two, skip three stitches, and then in the next stitch we will double crochet, chain one five times. Double crochet, chain one all in the same stitch, that's twice. Three, four, five, and then one more double crochet in that same stitch. So that's our second corner. So we're ready to repeat that again with a chain two, skip three stitches, single crochet in 26, and so on. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around. So finishing up my last side after my 26 single crochet, chain two, skip those last three stitches, join to our starting stitch. You can go ahead and fasten off. There will be a total of 24 double crochet, 104 single crochet, 20 chain one spaces, and eight chain two spaces. Round 17, using color B, we want to start in one of these corner groups of double crochet with those chain one spaces. In the first chain one space of the group, we're going to join B with a beginning cluster. So we attach our yarn in that first space, chain three. Yarn over, insert in the space to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on the hook, and repeat, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops for our beginning cluster. So we're going to chain one, skip the stitch, and then in this next chain one space, we're going to make a cluster. So this time it's like three partial double crochet, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two for three loops, and repeat one more time. Four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops for a cluster stitch. And we want to do that four times. Chain one, skip the stitch, work a cluster in the next space. That's two repeats.
three. So we should have, including our beginning cluster, five clusters with the chain one in between each of the clusters. We're going to skip this next stitch and place two half double crochet in that chain two space. Two half double crochet in the chain two space. Chain two, skip two stitches, single crochet in 22. One, two. So after the 22 stitches, we will chain two and skip those last two single crochet. Place the two half double crochet in the chain two space. And then we've reached those corner stitches. We'll, we'll cluster in the chain one space. So this time we don't need a beginning cluster. It'll just be the regular cluster stitch. Chain one, we'll do that four times. Cluster in the next chain one space. Chain one, that's twice. Three. four, and then we'll place one more cluster in that last chain one space. Ready to start down the next side with the two half double crochet in the chain two space, chain two, skip two, 22 singles, and so on. So you can go ahead working that all the way around. After our final side of 22 singles, we'll place We'll make the chain two and then place those two half double crochet before joining to the top of our starting cluster. So there should be a total of 16 half double crochet, 88 single crochet, 20 clusters, 16 chain one spaces, and eight chain two spaces. So from the next round and following, we're going to give the stitch counts just from corner to corner. So for one side of the stitch counts, continuing from here. Round 18, we're going to use color C. We're going to work in the space between these two half double crochet and the first cluster. So we'll join with a slip stitch and then we're going to work a beginning puff. So we will chain two, yarn over, insert our hook in the same space and pull up a loop about the height of a double crochet and repeat one more time, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. You should have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all five loops for a beginning puff stitch. We'll chain one to close, which was does not count as a stitch. We're going to make a front post double crochet around this cluster. So yarn over in from the front around the back of the cluster, back out to the front. Yarn over, pull up a loop and then finish a double crochet. So the front post double around that first cluster. Puff stitch in the chain one. So yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, and we'll do that three times. So we should have seven loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all seven, chain one to close, and repeat. Front post double around the cluster, Puff stitch in the chain one space. Chain one to close. We'll do that twice more with the front post double crochet and the puff in the chain one space.
Then we want to make another front post double around this last cluster. Puff in this next space between the cluster and the two half double crochet. Then around each of the half double crochet, we're going to place a front post double crochet as well. Half double crochet in the chain two space, chain two, skip two stitches, single crochet in 18 stitches. One, Seventeen and eighteen single crochet chain two, skip the last two single crochet, half double crochet in the chain two space. And then we're ready to start again, or then we're going to make a front post double crochet around each of the half doubles. So we'll make that puff stitch in between the half double crochet in the first cluster. And the front post double around the cluster and ready to work our way around again as we did. So again, you can work that all the way around. At the end of the round, we will join to our starting stitch and fasten off. I'm finishing up my final side. I've done the chain two, the half double crochet in the chain two from last round, and I need to work a front post double crochet around each of the half double crochet. And then I'm ready to join to the top of our starting puff stitch. To finish the round, oops, there we go and then you can go ahead and fasten off. So each side then has six puff stitches, 18 single crochet, nine front post double crochet, two half doubles, and two chain two spaces. Round 19, we're going to use main color. We want to find our corner stitches and the third puff stitch. We're going to work in this space just after that puff stitch before the front post double crochet of the corner. We're going to start with a standing treble crochet. So we yarn over twice. Now for a standing one, I need to hold that with my finger to secure those yarn overs. Pull up a loop and then yarn over, pull through two, three times. If you prefer, you can join with a slip stitch and chain four to count as that standing treble. We'll place two more treble crochet in the same space. We'll chain two, skip the front post double crochet, and in the space before the next puff, we'll place three trebles. So we'll skip this next puff stitch. We want to front post double crochet around that next front post double.
and double crochet in the next puff and we'll do that once more. Front post double crochet around the front post double crochet then double crochet in the puff stitch. Front post double around the next double crochet in the next front post around that half double double crochet in that chain two space chain two skip two single crochet in three stitches chain three skip three single crochet in two stitches. Chain three, skip three, single crochet in three stitches. Chain two, skip two, double crochet in the chain two space front post double crochet around the half double crochet. Double crochet in the next stitch. Front post double around the next stitch, which is a front post double, double crochet in the puff. We'll repeat that front post double around the next front post double double crochet in the puff stitch, front post double around the front post double. We'll skip the next puff and then we're ready to start those treble crochets. So three treble crochet in the space between the puff and that center front post double of the corner. So three treble crochet in that space chain two, skip the front post double, three treble in the next space, and then we're ready to repeat down the side. So again, you can work that all the way around on the last repeat. We will end with the front post double around this front post double here before joining to our starting treble crochet. Do not fasten off. So each side should have six treble crochet, eight front post double crochet, eight double crochet, eight single crochet, three chain two spaces, and two chain three spaces. Round 20, we're going to continue with the main color. We're going to chain two. We're going to work a back post double crochet around the same treble crochet that we joined to. And a back post double around each of the next two stitches. So back post double are in each of those trebles. In this corner chain space, we will place two double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochet. We'll work a back post double crochet around each of the next 11 stitches. One, two, three,
10 and 11 back post double crochet. In this chain two space, we're going to make an extended single crochet cluster. So we'll insert our hook into the space, pull up a loop. We'll yarn over and draw through just that first loop on the hook, leaving two loops on the hook. We'll insert in the same space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, three loops on our hook, and one more time into the same space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, so there's four loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops for an extended single crochet cluster in that chain two space. We want to work a front post double crochet around each of these three singles. One, two, and three front post, oops, there we go, front post double crochet chain three. We're going to skip this chain three space. Around the next two stitches we're going to work a front post half double crochet two together. So we're going to yarn over, insert around the first single, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over again, insert around the next single crochet, pull up a loop. We should have five loops on our hook. We'll yarn over and pull through all five loops for a front post half double crochet two together. Chain three and we'll skip the chain three space again. Front post double around each of the three singles. One, two, and three front post double crochet. Then we've reached that chain two space, so we're going to work another extended single crochet cluster. Insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one. Twice and three times, yarn over, pull through all four loops. Back post double crochet around each of the next 11 stitches. That's two and three. nine, 10, and 11 back post double, oops, 11 back post double crochet. We've reached that corner again where we'll work those two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet before working our way all the way around and joining to our starting stitch. And we can fasten off at the end of the round. Each side has 22 back post double crochet, four doubles, six front post double crochet, two extended single crochet clusters, one front post half double crochet, two together, two chain three spaces, and one chain two space. Round 21, we're going to use color A. We'll start in any chain two corner space with a standing double crochet, chain two and double crochet in the same space. We'll place a double crochet in each of the next 13 stitches. One, two, three.
place a front post double crochet around the next four stitches starting with that extended single crochet cluster. So front post double around four stitches. So we're going to work in front of these chain three spaces and place a treble crochet in the center of those three skipped stitches on round 19. So treble crochet in the second of the skipped stitches And then working around both of these chain threes, we're going to work a two double crochet cluster. So yarn over, insert around both of the chains, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull through two, leaving the two loops. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And then we'll place a second treble in the same stitch as the previous treble. So then these treble crochet forms a bit of a V. Front post double crochet around this next stitch. And then we'll work a treble again down on that second skip stitch. Two double crochet cluster around both chain three spaces. A treble back in that same stitch. Front post double around each of these next four stitches. One, two, three, and this fourth one should be around that extended single crochet cluster. And then we'll double crochet in 13. Be careful to get this first stitch, which is slightly hidden behind the front post double we just made. So double crochet in 13. That's two, Twelve and thirteen. Which should bring us to the corner space where we'll work those double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the corner space and ready to repeat down and around the sides. So again you can work that all the way around. Joining two our starting double crochet at the end of the round and you can fasten off. Each side has 28 double crochet, 9 front post double crochet, 4 trebles, 2 2 double crochet clusters, and the chain 2 space in the corners. Round 22 using color B, we're going to start in any of the corner chain 2 spaces with a half double crochet. We'll place a second half double crochet in the same corner space, chain two, and two more half double crochet in that same space. We'll half double crochet in these first 14 stitches. One, two.
14 half double crochet. Front post double around each of the next four stitches, which are front post doubles. That's two, three, and four front post double crochet. We're going to skip, skip these next three stitches and in that center front post double crochet of the side, we are going to work a two double crochet cluster. And try that again, I had a long thread there. So two double crochet cluster, chain one, and we'll do that a total of three times. So a second two double crochet cluster, chain one, we'll make a third two double crochet cluster, chain one, and one more two double crochet cluster in that same stitch. We'll skip these next three stitches, front post double crochet around the next four front post doubles. One, two, three, and four front post double crochet. Half double crochet in 14. One, two, Thirteen and fourteen. Then ready to work our corner. Two half double crochet. Chain two. Two more half double crochet. Then ready to repeat down the sides. So again, you'll work that all the way around, joining to our starting stitch at the end of the round, and you can fasten off. Thirty-two half double crochet, eight front post double, four two double crochet clusters, three chain one spaces, and the chain two in the corner. Round twenty-three will take color C and join in any of the chain two corner spaces with a double crochet. We'll place a second double crochet in the same corner space, chain two, and two more double crochet in the corner space. We're going to skip this first stitch, which is hidden by our corner stitches. Double crochet in 15. One, two, Fourteen and fifteen double crochet. We're going to place a front post double around two stitches. One and two front post double. We'll skip these two stitches. We want to cluster in the space between the front post double and the first 
cluster. So this is the bigger cluster. So we have the three part double crochet. So yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We'll do that three times. So four loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops. We'll place a front post double crochet around the two double crochet cluster and then make a cluster stitch in the chain one space. We'll do that three times. Front post double around the two double crochet cluster, cluster in the chain one space. That's twice, another front post double around the two double crochet cluster, cluster in the space. Front post double around that remaining two double crochet cluster and cluster in the space before that first front post double. We'll skip two stitches, front post double crochet around each of these next two stitches. We'll skip this next stitch and double crochet in the last 15 stitches. That's two, three, Fourteen and fifteen double crochet. Then we're ready to work the corner again with the two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And continue repeating all the way around. So again, once you've worked your way around, you'll join to our starting stitch and you can fasten off. So there's 34 double crochet, eight front post double crochet, five clusters and one chain two space. Round 24 using color D, we'll join in any of the chain two corner spaces with a double crochet. We'll chain two and double crochet in the same space. We're going to work a front post treble crochet, so two yarn over around this first stitch. and then single crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to do that a total of 10 times. Front post treble around the next, single crochet in the next. So when we do that single after the front post treble, they sort of fold up to give sort of like a folded treble or a raised look on our pattern. Nice texture. So that's two repeats. We want to do this a total of 10 times and I'll meet you at that spot. So I've done nine repeats 
The tenth one will be around that front post double, and then the single crochet will be in the top of the cluster. Then we'll single crochet in the next seven stitches. One, two, six, and seven. And then starting with the next stitch, we'll single crochet in the next, front post treble around the next, ten times again. That's two repeats. Three. So after the ten repeats, you should be right at that corner space where we'll work, work the double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and then ready to repeat around the remaining sides. So again, once you've worked that all the way around, join to our starting stitch and fasten off. Round 25, the final round for part two. We're going to use color E and start in any chain two corner space with a double crochet. Chain two and double crochet in that same space. We'll double crochet in each of the next 20 stitches. One, two, Nineteen and twenty double crochet. We'll place a back post double crochet around the next two. Yarn over, in from the back, around the front, out to the back to pull up a loop and finish the back post double crochet. So back post double around two stitches. So back post half double crochet around the next five stitches. One, two, four, and five back post half double crochet, then back post double crochet around the next two stitches. And then double crochet in the remaining 20, starting with this front post treble. Twenty double crochet. So twenty double crochet to take us right to that next corner space where we'll place the double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and then ready to repeat all the way around. Joining to our starting stitch at the end of the round and fastening off. Forty-two double crochet, four back post double crochet, five back post half double crochet, and one chain two space. So once you have finished the square, you'll want to go ahead and sew in all the ends and then of course repeat all of these rounds on the other three motos to finish part two. If you wish to do a light blocking at this stage, you may go ahead and do that and I look forward to seeing you back here for part three.